Let's do an example first and just calculate the curl of a given vector field. Okay, so by definition, the curl of a vector field is just the del operator crossed with the given vector field, right? So here, it can be written in the following way. Okay, so I expand that determinant along the top row. Okay, and to do that, a good way that I, I like to um, uh, go here is go, all right, well, I is in the first column and the first row. So I cover the row and column that I appear in, and then I multiply I by the determinant of what's remaining. Then I move on to J. J is in the first row and the second column. So what I do is I multiply j by the determinant of what's left, not forgetting the minus sign in front of the j. And then I move on to k. k is in the first row and the third column. I multiply k by the determinant of what's left. So that's basically what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, so it's the first part. Don't forget the minus sign here. A lot of people forget the minus sign when they expand these determinants. Okay, so now we've reduced it down to the evaluation of two by two determinants. Now, remember here, when we expand these, we're not really multiplying, we're operating on the, on the given functions. Okay, so let's expand that out. The first determinant is going to give us ddy of x squared y to the fourth minus d dz of z cubed. Okay, so it's going to be something like 4 x squared y cubed minus 3z squared times i. All right, move on to the second one. Again, go diagonally. It's d dx of x squared y to the fourth minus d dz of x squared. So that, that term is going to be zero. This term is going to be something like 2xy to the fourth. Now, in the last determinant, you can see if we expand that diagonally, right, d dx of z squared is zero, d dy of x squared is zero. So it's not going to add anything to our answer here. 